So, welcome to this seventh part in our series of in interpretation of international tables page. In this part, we will look at the generators selected. So, if we actually look at the um, table which we were looking at in particular, the space group number 66 CCCM and we have looked at the first page in detail by now in the symmetry element diagram, the general position diagram, then the selection of origin, the asymmetric unit and finally, the symmetry operations. Now, let us look at, let us continue because this is only half of the information, half the table for this particular space group. Some of the space groups um, are contained in only one page of the international tables, but some of them is spread into two pages and some even more than two pages. This particular space group is described in two pages. So, let us look at the contents of the second page now. The second page begins with continued, which means that it is the continuation of the same space group number six, uh, 66. And then we look at the next item in the list is the generator selected. So, this is an important um, concept and we will look at the meaning of this generator selected. So, let me try to um, cut and paste the generator selected along with the symmetry operations. So, before we start with just as a general introduction which we have looked at in some of the previous vid videos that any group generators is a property of a group. So, for any group you can select a small set of operations such that their combinations And when we say combinations, means we mean the group products. So, let me write it as products, their so what I am defining is not group, but group generator. So, group generator is a small set of operations from the group such that their product. And when we say their product, it should also include including inverses and powers. Can generate all other. members of the group. So, every member of the group can be written as a product of a finite may set of operations from the group. So, then it is called a group generator. A very simple example, let us consider the point group 4. Point group 4 has 4 operations 1, 4 plus 2 and 4 minus, but if we just consider the group element 4 plus, then all other operations I can write as a product or power of 4 plus. For example, you know that 4 plus is square will be 2, 4 plus cube will be 4 minus and 4 plus to the power of 4 will be 
1. So, you can see that all operations of this group point group can be generated by the operation 4 plus. So, 4 plus can represent uh, is a generator of this group. The generator of a group are not unique. So, for example, in this case I selected 4 plus, but you can convince yourself that if I had selected 4 minus that is instead of a counterclockwise rotation by 90 degree, if I select count clockwise rotation by 90 degree, this will also generate all the operations. So, for example, 4 minus is square is 2. 4 minus cube will now become 4 plus and 4 minus to the power 4 will again give me an identity. So, either 4 plus or 4 minus can be selected as generator of this group. In fact, it is not even necessary that the generate the set of generators be minimal sometimes for convenience and for for some other additional uh, aspects in mind that how you want to use those generators, you can select a generator which is not really a minimal set. So, for example, I say that 4 plus is the generator of the group. Obviously, if I take both 4 plus and 2, that will also be a generator. So, 2 was four, 2 itself gets generated by 4 plus. So, I need not have kept it in my generator, but it is allowed mathematically and sometimes people use that sort of generator also. Generator is particularly important for a space group because unlike point group, point groups are finite group. I have taken an example of a very small group which has an order 4, only 4 operations, but in particular the space group is an infinite group because the translation the space group contains translations and translations are infinite. So, in fact, translation themselves form a subgroup of the space group and this subgroup itself is infinite of infinite order. So, there are infinitely many symmetry operations in the space group. So, there it is useful to have a small set of generators. So, you can find a small set of generators which will generate all these infinitely many operations and this is what is given a selection is given by the international table other selections are possible, but one specific selection one recommended selection of generators is given by this line in the second page top of the second page generators selected and these are the generators which are selected for this particular group, group space group number 66. So, some of them are just serial numbers and that is why I have kept the symmetry operations uh, block also um, here close by to refer to. So, these serial numbers are actually referring to the operations given by these numbers. So, for example, 1 is the identity operation. Then there are 3 or rather 4 translations, T represents translation. So, you have 1 1 O O which is the A translation, O 1 O which is the B translation, O O 1 C translation and finally, since it is a C centered lattice, you need a centering translation of half half O. So, that is you can say half of A plus B. So, that is the final translation. So, these 4 translations are selected as part of the generator and then there is an identity and 3 other point operations or 3 other operations symmetry operations are selected as part of this generator. So, those are given by their serial numbers. So, what is selected is 2. So, 1 is selected, 2 is selected, then 3 and 5.
So, that means along with the four translations which have been selected along with those four translations if you select the two fold axis number two a two fold rotation around the z axis then number three a two fold rotation about y axis not really y axis, but parallel to the y axis, but at a height one fourth which is the z value there and finally, the number 5 which is a center of inversion. So, these 4 translations and 4 of these operations 3, uh, three symmetry operations listed here and finally, one which is the identity operation. Identity really if you think is not really necessary for selecting in the group, because identity leaves the operation unchanged. So, even if we drop the identity, we will still have the generator, but for, um, so for some mathematical region, the international tables have decided to keep identity also as part of the generator, particularly to relate the group to its subgroup because finally, identity is a subgroup of all space groups, identity alone is a space group. So, that is P 1, P 1 is a space group where the only operation apart from translations is the identity operation. So, by convention the first generator selected is always the identity and then it follows by translations and then other significant useful symmetry operations are selected as generator. So, what about the symmetry operations which have been left out? Well, as we have said the property of the generator is that any operation of the group can be, uh, can be written as product of operations from the generator. So, since we here we have selected only these as generators, these uh, um, operations as the generator, any other symmetry operation which is not part of the generator can be written as a combination of these other operations. So, let me take one of the simplest example number 6, number 6 is not listed as generator, but this is a mirror plane in the x y plane, but a two fold operation along z axis is selected the inversion center in the origin is selected and you know very well from your study of symmetry that if you have a two fold axis in this case along the z axis and if you have a mirror plane sorry if you have a inversion center if you have an inversion center let me try to draw it then a small open circle which is what is the international symbol if you see in our diagram. So, the inversion centers are shown by open circles. So, that open circle re representing inversion center. So, the combination of two fold with the inversion center is a mirror let me try to show it with a small schematic. So, I start with this object, I rotate it by 180 degree about the two fold. So, that is the two fold rotation that will take me there and then I invert it in the inversion center. So, it will come here with a changed handedness and you can see that these two objects are related by a mirror and that is exactly the mirror 6 which is shown here mirror in the x y plane. So, 6 was not part of the generator, but it can be produced as product of two other operations in the generator. Similarly, all other operations which listed here which are not listed in the generator can actually be produced as product of the generator. I leave this as an exercise for you you can try as many of them as you like. Thank you very much.